Hi everyone, it's James from Eurovision Island back for a new series of Reviewing 2. Can you believe it? It's been five whole years since the first series of Reviewing 2. Half a decade. As always, we know that your time's precious, you don't have time to sit there watching reaction videos all day, so Eurovision Island likes to make it as easy as possible, two minutes or less on every single song heading to the Eurovision Song Contest, which is of course coming to us live from Malmö in Sweden. Sit back, relax, enjoy the videos, let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree, just remember, never any hate, just a difference of opinion, and let's be united by music, it's time for the Eurovision Song Contest 2024. Let's head over to Georgia, Nudza Buzaladze and Firefighter. I love Georgia at Eurovision because you're never quite sure what to expect from them and I think that's brilliant. The last couple of years I'd argue that they've been entering very Georgian songs. Now what I mean by that is they're entering songs that are sort of aimed more at the home market than they are an international one and that's maybe why we haven't seen them at very many finals. So I was curious to see what they were going to send this year and I must say I'm very very impressed. I feel like Firefighter is finally Georgia saying, okay, we'll send something that the rest of Europe is going to like as well. Now, that doesn't mean that I think they should stop experimenting with the traditional sound, and I'm glad to see that Firefighter still does have sort of a little bit of a traditional rift under it, which is fantastic, but I feel like it's much more accessible, which I think is always a good thing, because you, know, you want people to vote for you, you want it to be accessible. Um, you're going to laugh when I say this, but I feel like this could be the Fuego moment of this year, as in... Before you go back in 2018, it was sort of released, people went, oh, okay, you know, that's not bad. And then we saw it on stage, it was put together perfectly, and then suddenly everyone's like, oh, Cyprus. And I feel like we're going to have a similar moment with Georgia this year. I think this is going to be the moment people turn on to Georgia at Eurovision. The song, it's very dancey, it's got, as I said, a bit of a traditional rift underneath it, which I think is a nice nod towards Georgian culture. Um, I think if it's staged well, and judging by some of the stills I've seen online, they've been putting a lot of work into staging this, I think this could go down really, really well. I would love to see it qualify, it's been far too long since we've seen Georgia at a Eurovision final and I think this could be on track to give them their best ever finish at Eurovision ever. Um, they have to come higher than ninth to get that, I think this could be the song that will do it. I'm not sure, I think winning overall is a bit ambitious at the moment but get back to the final and then we can build on it. But yeah, overall Georgia, I'm very impressed, I feel like this is, this is sort of the moment you're like, ah, this is how we Eurovision. 